Cheers, everyone. This is Blaster Brewmaster here, and welcome to Undertale. This is a long time coming, I suppose you could say. I tend to have just a bit of a habit of skipping games and things that are popular while they're popular and wait for things to die down, but you know what? I think I gotta check this out. Howdy. I'm Flowey. Flowey the Flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly. You must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. Well, yes, I suppose that someone should. But yes, I have gone into this as blind as possible. I really don't know much about this game. I know that it is ridiculously popular. And yeah, I'm not exactly sure why. I know that the story is supposed to be amazing. A friend of mine gifted this to me and said, here, I want you to do this. I want you to do a video. And I finally like, all right, all right, all right, all right, I'll do it. Because I hear things are really good in this game. I mean, Yahtzee made it his top game of 2015, so you know what? That holds some weight to me. So here we are in Undertale. So I guess let's find out how things work. I will say, all I know is there's like a pacifist mode and a genocide mode. You can either kill nothing or kill everything. That's as much as about this game I know. I have gone in as blind as possible. I don't even know how I've managed to do that. Honestly, I really don't. So, teach me how things work. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go! Okay. See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being. Okay. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. Like love? What's LV stand for? What? I called it. Why love, of course. You want some loving, don't you? Oh yeah. Don't worry. I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Okay, that's interesting. Are you ready? I'm not exactly sure, but I will go ahead and say yes. Move around. Get as many as I can. Wait. Uh, you idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Holy crap. I didn't exactly. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Okay, well... Huh. Die! Okay, uh... E... Uh... What? Uh, whoop. Okay. Ah! Oh. Goat person! What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, oh, don't be afraid, my child. Uh, yeah, you know, I kind of was afraid for a moment there. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if someone has fallen down. Well, luckily, I guess she's waiting for someone to, like me to fall. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. So, right away, art style, I gotta say, is very interesting. I haven't, I, I will honestly say I have not played Earthbound, but Earthbound is the very first game that comes to my mind. I've played, like, you know, not enough to really say much other than the, I know the art style. So, that's definitely very much what I think first. What's, what's up with this thing? Did you do anything? The shadows of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Okay. Uh, save. Yes. Okay. That is good. I need a little bit of beer, too. Okay. So... Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. So, I mean, there's like a... Definitely a very black and white theme to some of this... Parts of the game, but... Like you said, the, the art style definitely makes me think so much of Earthbound. Okay, so, build a box. The ruins are full of puzzles. 
Ancient fusions between the diversions and doorways. Diversions, okay. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Okay. So, okay, I guess I just follow you. Uh, to make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Huh. Press Z to read signs. Okay, well, I guess I just kind of did. What does this say? Stay on the path. Okay. Well, let's just go this way then. Uh, I guess that's one of the ones that she means I need to flip. And that one, but not the other one. Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. She seems very motherly. Let us move to the next room. Okay. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Now this is some of the stuff that I've seen that kind of seems a little... different from most of the games that I've kind of played before. I mean, it's kind of obviously very SNES sort of RPG, but... Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Huh. Practice talking to the dummy. Okay. Uh... Hi there, Mr. Dummy. Do I, uh... Okay, so I just interact with you. I encounter the dummy! It seems kind of like a mean thing to say to it. Uh, act. Dummy. Talk. Okay. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won! You earned zero XP and zero gold. Well, that was, uh, that was, that was a great, that was a very great thing to do. Ah, very good. You are very good. So, I will say right away, just because I kind of have an idea what genocide and pacifist means to do to meet those criteria, I'm not necessarily going to strive for either one at the moment. I'm gonna kind of feel how I feel about the game and decide from there what I do and go from there. Whether I play the whole thing, we may also see, but... I mean, I've heard so many good things, I imagine it's just gonna be kind of really interesting. Okay. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Yeah, I am pretty much the puzzle master. So do not worry about me and solving puzzles. Whoa! A frog had attacked me. Uh... Compliment. Threat and check. Let's try complimenting it. Froggett didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Interesting. <laughs> she just gives it a stern look <laughs> and leers at it afterwards. That's funny. It's like, I'm going to get you next time, Froggett. Interesting. This is... I can see why it's definitely... A different sort of experience than really what I guess anyone would think. The Western Room is in the Eastern Room's blueprint. Okay. So, the Western Room is in the Eastern Room's blueprint. This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. Okay. Up. Oof. It's a little hard to kind of discern this. Hmm. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. 
Hmm. Forgive me for this. Okay. I'm gonna just kind of keep on this path here. Uh. Hmm. Nothing weird is happening so far. What's the big deal, guys? Okay. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. Hmm. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. Okay. How old am I? I mean, am I going to have to work a job and, you know, pay for this cell phone bill or something? Do I get internet? Do I get free texting? Do I get roaming? Do I get international calls? Can I get Google? Please tell me it is a cell phone. That is an iPhone. Wait, no, not an iPhone. No! I can't believe I said those words. Hey, anyways. If you have any need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Yeah, I'm not exactly sure that I'm gonna want to just stand around here. Because I don't know if anything will happen, so I'm just gonna go on now. Ring. Hello? This is Toriel. You have not left a room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Hmm. So, it almost seems like I could just wait there and something could happen? Hmm? But I don't want to wait. Hi there. Ribbit. Ribbit. Scares me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster doesn't want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Hmm. Okay. Playful crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. Save. Okay. Whoop. Wimson approaches meekly. Mmm. <laughs> uh, act. Wimson. Uh, console. You know what? It's meek. Let's try consoling it. Halfway through your first word, Wimson bursts into tears and runs away. You won! You earned zero XP and zero gold. Uh, I didn't kill it, did I? I'm not, I'm not even sure. Is that guy I was killing? Hmm. Huh. I wonder what's up this way. Huh. It says, take one. Take a piece of candy? No. You decide not to take some. Ha! I defy you. Talk about some independence as I look at me, walking around with an independent stride like this. Frigate hopped close. Uh... Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna punch him. Punch the damn frogget. What did I do? Okay. Hop. Hop. Oop. Okay, so I have to... Interesting. The battlefield is filled with the smell of mustard seed. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna check him. Attack of four, defense five. Life is difficult for this enemy. Up, up. Up, up, up. up. Woo! It's filled with more mustard seed smell. Okay. Uh, how about if I threaten it? Rugget didn't understand what you said, but was scared anyway. Shiver, shiver. Seems reluctant to fight you. Let me compliment it. 
Raga didn't understand what she said, but was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply. Ribbit. Ah. Raga seems reluctant to fight you. Let me show it mercy, I guess. Spare. You won! You earned zero XP and zero gold. So, is this gonna be a thing about the XP and gold? No, I'm not, uh, it's kind of interesting. Okay. Uh, hmm. Don't know that I trust. There it goes. Boosh. Babushka. Alright. Uh, huh. so. Lives in a purse as meekly. How about we console you again, huh? Halfway through your first word, whims and bursts into tears and runs away. <laughs> See ya. I'm guessing if I get zero XP and zero gold, then I'm being peaceful. Yeah. Okay. So how about... So all of those just do that. So maybe I should go to the right? Okay, that worked. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Cinnamon. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. I wonder if that's some sort of judgment about me. Are you judging me, you? Hey, I, I just... Uh, yeah, hi. Hello, Toriel. You did not dislike butterscotch, do you? I, I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right? Right? I, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. <sighs> alright. 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 I'm going back. Give me this way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back here. Because I don't... Like, she's making me feel bad. Frogget hopped close. You know what? Take a punch to the face. Boom. Meow. What? Whoa. Whoa. You gotta dodge all those things. I am intimidated by its raw strength. Only kidding. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say. How about I threaten it then? Didn't understand what I said, but was scared anyways. Okay. Shiver, shiver. Oh. Ah. Interesting. Uh. The, you know what? Mercy. Okay. Like, what if I just kind of... Do, do I do anything here? Can I just pace back and forth? Pace back and forth? Anything? Hello? Hello? Maybe I... I'm supposed to go on. And see, I'm still just kind of like, should I take... You know, I'm going to take the candy. Yes, take the piece of candy. Took a piece of candy. Okay. Alright, so we got a piece of candy. And... I guess I'm just going to keep going. So all I'm doing is pacing back and forth right now. Uh... I don't even know. I'm going to check it. What is it? Attack of 5 and a defense of 0. It's too sensitive to fight. Okay. Sniff, sniff. Oh. Okay. It's starting to smell like lavender and mothballs. That's a, not a great smell. I'm going to terrorize it this time. You raise your arms and wiggle your fingers. Whims and freaks out. I can't handle this! And... Nothing. Okay. It's hyperventilating. I'm gonna terrorize it again and see what happens. You raise your arms and wiggle your fingers and it freaks out again! Uh, that's all it does? Uh, okay. Wasn't sure if it was gonna do something different for some reason. Alright, so let's console you. How about that? And it bursts into tears and runs away. Okay, so... It's interesting to see how these different monsters just react to different things. Alright, let's go on now. So... Let's see. So we had that whole butterscotch thing, which I thought was weird. Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. Ah, come on. Yeah, you know what? Here. Let's console you. Go away now. Bursts into tears and runs away. 
Okay, so three out of four rocks, so here's one. Uh, okay, so that's one of the three? I don't know. The question here now was, I was... I mean, I kind of pretty much predicted that was exactly what was going to happen, but... What do you got? Please don't step on the leaves. Well, too bad. How about that? You ain't gonna stop me now. Okay. You know what? That actually tells me what I should be doing. Rocket hopped close. Uh, let's see. Doesn't seem to do anything, so... I'm gonna punch it. And then, I guess, mercy it in a second here. Mercy! Very, yeah, I guess he didn't like it yet. You want me to punch again? Is that what you're saying? Frogger doesn't seem to know why it's here. I'm gonna punch you again. Meow. Why do you say meow? I don't understand a meow. I'm intom intimidated by its draw strength. Intimidated. Spare you now. Go. Go away. Okay, I think I got a gold piece there. Okay, so this is telling me go down. Uh, Alright, I think I get it. So we go down. Come on. Whimson, get get out of here. Go away. Burst into tears and runs away. See ya. So down here. Then like that. Up. Then that. Down. Nah! Where did I uh, okay. There's a little bit more that I needed to do. <sighs> Come on. Mold small, block the way. Uh... Flirt with it? You wiggle your hips! <laughs> Mold small wiggles back! What a meaningful conversation! Sexy wiggle! Hmm. Huh. Interesting. It is ruminating. Uh, what about if I imitate it? You lie immobile with mold small. You feel like you understand the world a little better. Squarch. Okay. It waits pensively. Uh, so nothing there. How about I punch you? Sexy Wiggle. Mold Small is ruminating. Yep. Burble Burp. Okay. So, this doesn't seem to have anything I can use to act with. Started to spoil. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna just kind of do Mercy. See if that works. There we go. Three gold. Okay. Let's try this again. So, down. Oh, a little bit too far over. Then up. Here. Ah! Well, it's small. Don't do it. Go away. Oh, that was like nothing. Scorch. And... Okay, come on. Let's do a better hit there. That's much better. Squirch. Now. That. Okay. Mercy you. Go away. I don't know. Right now I'm not gonna try to kill any of these guys. Uh. That blooded friggin. Yeah, like all the way to the very end there. That's where I have to do. Okay. So. Do how about I just flee you? Escaped. See ya. Like, I just want to get all the way through this. Like that. There we go. Okay, so three out of four. So... <sighs> Two multiple balls. <laughs> hmm. Oh. I wonder if I could make him kind of jelly, though. Let's go. Oh. Wow, this makes things a little bit more difficult. 
The aroma of lime gelatin wafts through. Okay, so how about if I flirt with that one? You wiggle your hips, Mold Small wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. Oh, the other one's getting sexy now. Okay. Do, do, do. So, let's just punch that one. Verbal blurp, sexy wiggle. And whoop, whoop. Nope. Okay. Now, punch you. They both sexy wiggle now. Yep. Yep. Okay. And punch you. Oh! Well, one died. So, mercy for the other one. Didn't expect that I was gonna hit it so hard. Um, hmm. So two of these probably need to go... One... Let's say these two? No. Alright. Oh. Tripped into a line of mauled smalls. How about I flee? Alright. All of them? Whoa there, partner! Who said you could push me around? Huh? So you're asking me to move over? Okay. Just for you, pumpkin. Uh, huh? You want me to move some more? Alrighty. How's this? It, uh, not, not 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 so preferable, no. Huh? That was the wrong direction. Okay. I think I got it. it all the way over here. Yep. There we go. Okay. Thank you. Hey. Uh, dude, that's kind of rude. Huh? Oh, you wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout here. Alright. And... Okay. Whew. I was like afraid I was gonna just move off of it while I was on it. And let's see, what is this thing? A piece of cheese? Huh. This cheese has been here for quite a long time. It's stuck to the t Ew. Yeah, I'll just leave that there. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. I think I will... Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it here for now. Interesting so far. I'm not exactly sure where the story's gonna go, but we'll go ahead and pick this up next week. So, thank you for going ahead and joining me here today on Undertale. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a like, a comment, and subscribe, whatever you feel like it. I always like to hear from you, so let me hear from you. In the meantime, raise your glass in the air, and have another pint on me. Love and peace. I could just have seen it! Fucking Shane's <laughs> trying to shoot me with the, hol with the holiday launch when he fucking nails T-Mats right in the right face. No <laughs> oh, you mean kind of like uh, how I did that to you a moment ago and actually hit you in the face? Um, oh, oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I'm hitting everyone but mana. But, but mana. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm gonna deal with this situation here. We clearly don't know what no, the hell we're doing. You're not, no, you are not dealing with anything. You come near me to deal with anything, you're gonna get shot. Ow! Ooh, okay,